The Times and my forehead signatured by noteworthy individuals. The last time I had my forehead signed by someone noteworthy was a month and a half ago when I went to the Friendly Geordies show in Lismore. I liked the show, but I am a terrible live comedy audience member. Being from one of the regions, live comedy has been mostly something I've experienced sitting at home on a couch. And for much of my life, the stand-up comedy I saw was televised fest- festival gala-, gala nights. So, like an hour of top-tier comedians doing their best five minutes, it's only been very recently I've started seeing any actually live stand-up comedy, and so it's hard to get used to sitting on a couch with a hundred strangers and being loose enough to let go and actually laugh. So jokes that I might absolutely lose my shit at if I were alone don't have the same effect, and I feel like I'm being a disservice to the performer because when I laugh, I don't know, we'll ask my friends. So we meet friendly Geordies after the show. Malcolm Turnbull, a wife. He's in the 17th century aristocrat getup, trying to peddle t-shirts. And when it's our turn to buy something and get it signed, I tell him, I can't afford a shirt, but could you sign my forehead and let me get a photo? He's like, yeah, sure. I ask him, could you please sign it? Malcunt. And he's like, seriously? And I say something to the tune of, definitely. I think it's fair enough he chose to sign it with the super fine tip sharpie. He can have his reasons, and I can have mine. I had never realized from any of his videos that Friendly Geordies has a massive face. This has made the case even more so when the guy was right up in mine, and as nearly as possible, slicing up my forehead as though we are in some kind of comorbid borderline personality marriage. But, in all seriousness, because Friendly Geordies is a YouTube sensation, It was like an ASMR video, one called Getting Your Forehead Drawn On With Fine Tip Sharpie By A Fucked Up Clown. Now that's my kind of ASMR. I tell you what though, he could have topped it off superbly by whispering in my ear afterwards, Sex, sex, money, money, power. But I'll take what I can get. He also told me that it's fair enough I don't want to buy a shirt, because the shirt I I already had on my Tony Abbott blowing his brains out with a rainbow bullet handgun clowns t-shirt would still be a good investment had I paid $30,000 for it. Got it for fifteen. Watch out, my nibblings. You might all start hating each other like jealous vultures one day. My friend Smashley took the photo, wherein the word Malkunt is only visible <laughs> if you were there when, the, when it was taken, and then only barely. So that was that time.